It's 6.52 and we have all the news, weather and traffic you need to start your day right in the morning sprint. We're going to start off by getting right to Tropical Storm Erica and a forecast that suggests it may be headed our way. Glenn? Yeah, it's got a lot to uh, get over over the next couple of days. Uh, a lot of things that are going to try to inhibit Erica from strengthening, but if it makes it past the next 24 to 36 hours, then we could be looking at some very stormy conditions come late Sunday and Monday in our area. But there's a look at Erica right now. A lot of new thunderstorm activity popping up. Winds at 40 miles per hour move to the west at 18. The latest track from the Hurricane Center has it moving up through the Bahamas by the weekend and possibly as a Category 1 hurricane right along our coast by early Monday. We'll take a look at your seven-day forecast coming up. Let's check in with Jacqueline and get some tips on how to prepare yourself. Yeah, well, even if you're not putting up your hurricane shutters just yet, there are some easy things you can start doing now to prepare for Erica in case uh, the hurricane comes our way. Now, uh, one of the easiest things you can start doing is just come and fill up your gas now or your car with gas now before the big lines start. And if you have a generator at home, uh, don't just be thinking about your car. Getting your fuel now for that uh, could also save you headaches later in the week. It's also a good idea to check fuel filters and the coolant level on your generator. And when you go to fill up with gas, it's also easy to start getting those non-perishable food items that you'll want in case Erica does hit ahead of time too. Chris? Well, Jacqueline, here in our newsroom working to get the latest on the status of a Metro Rail security officer in Miami shot last night in critical condition right now. It happened at the MLK station that is north of downtown Miami, the NBC station in Miami, saying witnesses heard gunshots, then found the security guard around 930. He is now at Jackson Memorial Hospital. There is no word at this point on who the shooter is. Roxanne? Ten hospitals in Palm Beach County, six on the Treasure Coast, are preparing to be audited by the state. Governor Scott ordered the audits to see if the hospital's contracts with Medicaid are costing the state money. More than 100 other hospitals across Florida are also being looked at. Parents in Palm Beach County will be able to find out if their kid's bus route is changing after 9 this morning. You can find out by going to the Find My Bus app or checking out the district's website. The district is hoping changing routes will reduce the number of late buses. Crews will be disposing of World War II era munitions today off the coast of Indian River County. They set a few of them off yesterday. The 500 pound <coughs> rockets and warheads were moved out uh, a mile out to sea to be detonated. Beaches in the area will remain open. Lisa? Thanks, Roxanne. Okay, a couple isolated showers for the morning, but nothing too bad. We're going to have lots of sunshine. In fact, the sunrise is beautiful, so get out there and enjoy it. 89 degrees by 12 o'clock with an isolated shower or storm, but then numerous showers and storms after 3 o'clock and before about 8. Some of the storms could get pretty strong, Glenn. Yeah, it could be very messy by later this afternoon into this evening. If you have outdoor plans this evening, maybe an outdoor dinner, you're definitely going to want to check the radar. And also, your commute home may be a little slower today with the extra rainfall around. Our rain chances remain main high Thursday and Friday and even into Saturday unrelated to Erica, but it's right in here late Sunday into Monday when Erica could impact our forecast. That's a look at your weather. Let's check in with Johan. And Glenn live in Chopper 5 in the Boynton Beach area, technically Gulf, Florida here in the Gulf Road and Military Trail. Gulf Road westbound at northbound Military Trail. Two vehicle accident here has slowdowns in this area, but both Military Trail and Gulf Road not effective. 95 in the Turnpike up to speed. Christina. All right, Johan, thank you. Let's bring it over to a different area here. Uh, we're going to check out, and you can see the roads are moving over pretty well right now. We're looking at 6th Avenue South and I-95. Definitely people on the roads, but it is moving right now. No major uh, backups or accidents to tell you about. Uh, real quick, we'll show you some drive times, though, so you can see 95 South, 10th Avenue North to Atlantic, 10 minutes. Morning, everyone. Coming up on today, a Today exclusive, Donald Trump joins us live to talk about that clash with the Univision anchor at his news conference and his ongoing battle with Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly. Could his confrontational style carry him all the way to the White House? We'll have that. Also ahead, the former prep school student accused of rape expected to take the stand today. Will he be the only witness the defense calls? We'll be live at the courthouse. Then, are you better off eating alone? Why more of us are doing that now and the surprising impact it can have on our health when we get started on a Wednesday morning here on Today. And remember to follow Erica online and on our app. You'll get instant updates to your mobile device. That's it for us. Have a good day, everybody. Today's show is next.